Welcome to another quick tutorial with robots. So I know there's a lot of people out there who want to try out this game and they're going, I don't play a lot of flight sims. I don't play a lot of games that I need a joystick for. So I don't own a joystick. I'm not ready to pop down, you know, 30, 50, 100, $200 on a, on a joystick. What can I do robots? What do I do? Well, you know what? I'm in the same boat. I don't play a whole lot of uh, piloting stuff and I don't have a current joystick. I'm thinking about buying one, but I haven't bought one yet. So, how am I flying? What am I doing? How am I making sure I don't run into that ship in front of me? I'm not using a mouse and keyboard, that's for sure, because that pretty much sucks. Hey, we just got scanned. Look at that. So, what do you do? Well, I've hooked up my Xbox controller. Uh, to my PC in order to play you can get an adapter easily a wireless adapter on eBay or Amazon um, I've used this for a lot of other games on, on my PC too, especially when I'm playing like third-person games and things like that But how do you set it up so that it makes sense and it seems to work? Okay, because the default setting so if we go in here and we check out controls the default setting for controller pad with yaw or just controller pad I haven't looked at advanced controller pad yet. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but I've tried both of these and neither of them felt intuitive to me. So I've created my own custom setup. Now this is what works for me. And in my brain, it makes sense. It may not work for you, but at least it gives you some idea of some of the options. You'll notice the mouse presets are at the top. So on my pad, I've got my two thumbsticks. Those are my joysticks. Um, yaw, the word yaw means turning left to right like this and I've set up on my left stick my left stick putting it left and right along the x-axis changes my yaw so if I'm trying to zoom in on a target I can I can shift left and right um, I also you'll notice I have a slight dead zone set for each of these settings I, I'm just one tick up I've noticed anything more than that feels odd anything below that feels odd it feels right just just there on an Xbox controller for me um, roll is left and right with the other the other stick and roll is this and I'm gonna show you all of this when we pop back into the other screen pitch is on my left stick again left stick and pitch is this looking up and down with the ship and then the other up and down on my right stick is vertical thrust and that's going up and down which helps me with landing it also helps me maneuver up and down a little bit so what does this look like in the game well, let's go back to, here we go, back to in the game. So let's turn around. Let's get something in our sights. Let's see, where's that space station? Here we go. So this space station will help us I'm gonna move backwards from it. So what am I doing with my, with my sticks? So if I take my left stick and I push up, it pans down, like putting a joystick forward. If I push down, it pans up. If I've got the target in the middle and I push to the sides, it aims sideways or sideways. It can pan sideways and sideways. So I can use any combination of these movements in order to track and target, target something in front of me. The other stick turns, rotates my view left and right, or shifts me up or shifts me down and it's hard to tell from this distance that I'm, that I'm not moving very far this way but it, it helps for minute adjustments and also for getting in and out of say that docking bay and that's the way I've got it set up as for the other buttons um, this button by default I kept the same it targets the thing in front of you this button targets something else it's whatever the next closest ship is I have that set up this gives you an extra boost on the, uh, the B button here and then the A button and this is one of the things I think is most interesting about this game for those of you who have watched Battlestar Galactica you've seen the ships go and then they continue going in direction and pivot um, what what that means in this game is that I'm taking off flight assist. flight assist so I'm going to if I can pivot here you'll notice I'm still I'm gonna pause in a direction I'm still traveling up but I pivoted down. I took flight assist off. Now if I power forward, now I'll start going forward. Now I'm probably going in some combination direction, but it allows me to travel in one direction, aim in another, which is interesting. 
And then if I turn it back on, and notice, I'll just keep spinning. I'm not touching the controller right now. I'll just keep spinning. It just keeps going in the direction that you last pressed. So if I, as soon as I turn flight assist on, flight assist on, it balances you back out. This can be interesting and useful in uh, tactical situations where you're trying to combat somebody. Um, but definitely something to play with, and I keep that on my controller so I don't have to reach down on my keyboard so I can turn it on and off at will. So that's my setup so far. That's what's working for me. Maybe it'll give you some ideas of what'll work for you. Try that out. Otherwise, uh, please follow on YouTube. Check out some of the other tutorials. I've got a lot of beginner tutorials I'm putting out today. And I also stream this game at twitch.tv slash robots. So if you'd like to see my adventures, um, please tune in for that. See you guys later.